Hi and welcome Libra, Rose Burnett here and we're doing messages from spirit today so it's a timeless reading whenever you're watching this is the most perfect time for you and a big welcome to those that are new to my channel those that follow me regularly you're rocking awesome love your support and if you enjoy my videos make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that my videos come through to you in your feed it is a general reading so as trust yourself what resonates leave what does not uh, there is a competition this month so if you want to enter to win the beautiful sacred power oracle by anna stark all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and put a comment down below that you want to win this oracle deck uh, it is for may 2023 winner will be announced on the 1st of june uh, you'll go into the draw and for those of you that have been following me regularly for a while i'll be looking for a very positive community member and you'll go into the draw to win a 45 minute personal pre-recorded reading with me all you have to do is uh yeah show up very positively on my channel and you can also let me know in the comments below any video you watched in may that you want to win that personal reading you'll go into the draw and i will not exclude anybody that is a new subscriber all right so good luck with that and i will just let you know that you can also get all of my free astrology readings my inspirational videos on my spotify podcast which is new link will pop up here as well as down below if you want to you can get them in video and audio if you want to listen to my readings wherever you go all right let's pull you an open energy libra from the uh, beautiful heart and soul deck there's this one here which kind of looks like a little bit of a storm going on in the ocean well it says help is on its way the raging sea will soon abate and a great light will heal your heart it is a time of deep profound and positive transformation but courage strength and patience is required you are supported by a sea of love so some of you going through emotional healing at this time after a significant life event or something that's kind of upset your emotions so being very patient with that process being very gentle with yourself all right let's see what's coming towards you with the uh, beautiful uh, angel wisdom tarot okay you got the seven of fire so some of you need to stand up defend yourself choose your battles wisely uh, particularly in any conflict with others Mm. and you got the king of fire which is taking on a leadership role stepping into the spotlight for some of you it's public speaking uh you know very much leading others with your vision whether you're a guy or a girl mm. and you got the king of uh, air so some of you are feeling emotionally a bit distant right now emotionally shut down a bit so uh i dare say he's looking a bit glum so, you know, it can be a natural reaction to things. It can be that you're dealing with somebody that's emotionally distant. Oh, wow. You got the nine of fire again. So many, dare I say, swords and arrows coming towards you. Uh, very much protecting what you've created, not giving up. Keep moving forward. Uh, don't allow challenges to take you off your path right now. Mm. and you got the two of fire so there's an amazing opportunity an opportunity to collaborate with others in some sort of partnership on shared goals and visions he's holding the world in his hand yeah mm, all right let's put some clarifiers with the muse tarot okay uh, you got the page of voices, which is possibly overthinking things, being in your head quite a bit, particularly in terms of in relationship to others. And you got the page of materials. So some of you wanting results before they're ready. Things are in progress right now. You may be champing at the bit a bit in terms of expecting things to be faster than what they're going to happen. And you've got the ace of emotions. So Spirit's saying you need to look at things in a different way. You need to clear out the stress, the anxiety, the worry. And get a fresh perspective on things mm. yeah. you've also got the magician energy so those of you where that message about stepping into a leadership role public spotlight for some of you is that you can do anything spirit saying you just got to decide where you want to put your time your energy you've got everything within you to create whatever it is you want to create 
All right, those of you feeling emotionally unavailable or dealing with someone emotionally unavailable, you've got the message for temperance and balance, yeah? So managing your own emotions and coming back into balance or not letting the how others are behaving around you to affect how you're feeling if you feel like you are already in balance. You know, you got the four of emotions. Some of you crying over spilt milk, looking backwards at things that didn't work out. Any other guidance there? Mm, you got the five of inspiration. So a little bit of a warning about how you're treating others on your path right now, particularly if you're not feeling great within yourself, lest you fall down a rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mirrors here. So there's a, a need to look at self and how you're showing up. Oh, yeah. Some of you have been through something that has really upset the apple cart. She's a <laughs> ten of swords, basically. Uh-huh. Any other guidance there? Oh, you got the devil energy playing out. You got your, you're pulling your own strings, my loves. There's the ability to transform. There's a butterfly in the background lit up with fire. So it's up to you to do that, the, the harder work around emotional healing, transformation, taking responsibility for self. And then spirit saying you will, dare I say, rise like a phoenix. But in this case, a butterfly, which represents new beginnings, yeah? You've got to have a look and see where your own devil energy is playing out. Oh, and you've got the two of emotions. So there's a love interest here, a soulmate connection. Uh, I've got to be honest with you, Libra, you need to clean your energy up if you want to draw this into your life or for it to stay. It's also connected to there's some beautiful partnerships coming into your life because it's directly related to you collaborating with others. Um, mm-hmm. It's coming towards you. You may not see it yet. All right, let's put some guidance from the Energy Oracle. No wonder there's a storm raging in your world. Yeah, Spirit's saying there's things you need to walk away from. Mostly it's overthinking, uh, challenges with others, conflict with others. Don't engage with if it's not worth your time. Mm. you got the temple path here. So some of you need to go within and come back to a place of inner peace. Do your spiritual practices, yeah? Get out in nature, connect with spirit. Mm. you got man holding a heart here. So <laughs> this is really interesting. I'm going to give a specific message to the guys. Those guys. Masculine energies of Libra who are feeling emotionally unavailable right now. Spirit saying, do the work to bring yourself back into balance because that will help you open up your heart chakra again to love and feel more balanced in love. Girls, if you're dealing with somebody that's emotionally unavailable and if you're in a place where you are in balance, you're going to recognize that and you're going to open up the door to somebody who is emotionally available. Mm -hmm. It's come out with a divine pair. So you've got a woman holding a coin here. So... Uh, there's a divine match here. Mm -hmm. So, guys, you there's the opportunity to connect to somebody who's very stable. Mm -hmm. I mean, girls, it can certainly be you working on your coin. Oh, it's Bruce saying the sun's going to come out. So what this storm that's happening, right, as you w work through it, and, you know, if you're not going to do the work, then you're still going to be in a storm. But Spirit's saying when you do that work, to release whatever you need to release within self that's playing out for you right now in your shadow side is that you're walking towards love, partnerships, collaborations. The sun's going to come out. It's going to be a big, beautiful shift in energy for you. Oh, my darling, that's a relief. <laughs> yes. All right, let's put you some guidance from the goddess guidance deck. You've got a star of fertility. So Spirit is saying anything you kick off right now, perfect time to start new things, ideas, projects. You've also got the message to get yourself outside, directly related to you bringing yourself into balance. Ground those feet to Mother Earth. Yeah. Um, you will come back to this state of inner peace. Absolutely. You'll be ready for love, those of you that are looking for love. Be ready to work in a balanced way on your coin. 
And you got May Eve cycles and rhythms. So there's a need for you to really tap into your energy levels. When you're tired, take a rest. When you feel like you're really pumped up, take action. Some of you are feeling really sensitive and emotionally vulnerable right now, and I'm not surprised. Not surprised at all. And there's a focus on your home. So creating um, a beautiful space to relax in at home. Some of you buying, selling, relocating. Let's pull you some guidance from the uh, crystal reading deck. Mm, Spirit saying you need to apply a lot of self-love right now. Be very gentle with yourself. And a big focus on your life purpose. Uh, for some of you, you're going to take big leaps and strides in terms of working on your vision, leadership. And you've got your ancient wisdom coming through. So you'll be able to tap into your ancient wisdom. For some of you, it's blocked right now, your crown chakra, third eye chakra, because uh, you need to bring yourself into temperance and balance. When you do, you will tap into your ancient wisdom. It's just going to very much help you with your path, your clarity. Mm. And you need to be really flexible with the timing of things. Go a bit more with the flow. Yeah, it's definitely conflict going on. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's inner conflict. Maybe possibly conflict with others, but mostly it's inner conflict. And for some of you, it's around worrying that you're not going to manifest what you want to manifest in your life related to love, related to possibly money, career. Yeah, Spirit's saying you absolutely need to let go of that energy, let go of the devil energy, let go of things that didn't work out. And you're divinely protected at this time. Spirit's watching up for you. Mm -hmm. Let's put some guidance with the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Anything Libra needs to know right now. Mm. You got the message to have courage. Have the courage to do the work you need to do on self. Oh, you've got Embrace Spirit. You've got the eagle. The eagle is the highest animal spirit guide. It's a direct connection, higher states of consciousness to spirit, to the universe, can represent victory, new beginnings, the energy to overcome challenges. Because mm. a new day dawn is dawning for you, wants to dawn for you, brand new beginnings. Let's put some guidance with the uh, Super Destiny Oracle. Mm. Some of you, whatever's going on here, whatever you're releasing is going to open up this beautiful sense of freedom, releasing you from attachments, allowing you to do anything you want to do. You're holding yourself stuck, my darlings. It's time for new adventures, exploring, travel, having fun, tapping into that inner child and definitely embracing and opening up to love. And for a lot of you, it's new love. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Put some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Oh, you pulled adventure again. Absolutely need for you to get out of your comfort zone and have some fun, Libra. you got to mix your energy up. you got to amp your energy up. Mm, and be true to your heart. What's important to you? Getting really clear what you want in your life. you pull you... A message from the, from the Star Temple Oracle. Mm. Oh, yeah. You've pulled the mirror, which is really reflective and seeing, and seeing the true you, yeah? I hold the mirror up to see and accept and love all of me. So releasing shame, regret, things that didn't work out, things where you played a part where you weren't too happy with how you showed up, let it all go. Appreciate how amazing you are. Really and truly love yourself. Now let's put your message from the uh, circus, uh, what was it? Divine Circus Oracle. I to remember the name of that one. Oh, darlings. You got a date with destiny going on. All bets are off, my love. So a date with destiny is a divine path unfolding for you. I mean, have a look how amazing this is. It's so beautiful. So whatever you're putting into your effort into, um, basically, based on your own efforts and spirit is realigning you, so whatever's leaving your life is meant to leave your life to open you up to a brand new path. 
right? It's a divinely sanctioned path going forward. Do not fight it. Do not fight the flow. Do not fight. Do not go against your own flow. Yeah. Anything can happen when you have a date with destiny. Oh, yeah. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below and how it resonated with you. If you feel like you need extra guidance and support, reach out for a personal reading. They're deeply transformational and healing. I will put a booking link on here and down below. Enter that competition. Let me know you want to win. Take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.